Um, and what's also been interesting is if you look on the right, uh, there's a graph here that talks about the size of the average VC funds. And so you can see here from like the 1990s, uh, you know, the average fund was still under 50 million. Fast forward, this only goes through 2005, and you're talking now average funds that were in the $300 million plus. Now, it took a dip for sure, uh, as you will go, if you continue to extend that timeline uh, a little bit into the high 2000s. But now you're seeing an uptick again, and you're seeing, I'll answer your question, well, basically like a barbell occurring now in the industry where you've got a large amount of C capital uh, sloshing around the industry, and then you've got the late stage funds. Oh, sorry, you had a question, sir? Yeah, I was just going to ask why. Oh, sorry, let me just actually, sorry, we she wants to, oh, sorry. If you could say your name and what your okay, question is. Okay, my name is Marvin, and my question is, why is it that the fund size is growing bigger and bigger while at the same time the requirements to start companies is going lower and lower? It's a bit of a, you know, oppos opposing forces happening there. Yeah, and it's a great question. Um, I think that there, there's a report uh, that kind of rocked the venture industry. It came out about five years ago uh, by the Kauffman Foundation, which is a, a not-for-profit, I think, based in Kansas City. Mm -hmm. Uh, that uh, does a lot of research on alternative assets, uh, venture capital being one subclass of alternative assets. And I think what's happened is the, the more successful funds have attracted more capital and the, uh, a lot of funds have, the, the, the less successful funds have not been able to raise successor funds. It does take a long time for venture capital, uh, for LPs to weed out the underperformers in venture capital, as we'll get to a little bit later, these funds have 10-year lives. So they, there are a lot of what we call zombie funds around that are still collecting fees that are not going to be able, the, the GP team is not going to be able to raise a subsequent fund. But the Kauffman Foundation, in its report on both, there was two reports, one on venture and one on angel investing, uh, found that the these funds that were successful were attracting capital that were leading to uh, a skewed result in that the GPs were beginning to get wealthy off of the management fees. We're going to talk about that. I think if you, if, if you haven't covered that in this class yet, uh, <laughs> venture funds charge management fees to their LPs. Often it's two, two and a half percent a year, sometimes a little bit larger than private equity funds or buyout funds because there's smaller amounts being raised, but you still have to employ people and pay them a living wage. On top of that, they have a promotional interest. Often it's 20 percent. Sometimes it could be 25 percent. And the Kauffman Foundation made the distinction between funds whose GPs were getting their, the bulk of their economic wealth from the management fees, which come regardless of how they perform, versus the smaller funds that were getting the bulk of their upside through the promotional interest. And <clears throat> with that winnowing, of that hollowing out of sort of the middle Series A and, and um, maybe late stage siege, seed funds, uh, a bunch of micro funds rushed in for the reasons on, mentioned on the slide. Another one being that there aren't um, that a lot of programming and, and coding is offshore now in the subcontinent and in Eastern Europe. Another thing bringing down the cost of uh, uh, of building a company as well as cloud computing. Uh, the, the seed funds rushed in to fill that gap because it was easy to start companies, but unfortunately for the many graduates from seed funds like like Arc. Uh, it's becoming increasingly difficult to get Series A funding because the Series A funds have become growth equity funds. They're, they're managing too much capital to invest in the smaller deals now. And that's created, created a bit of a, of a desert for, uh, for late stage seed to Series A. It's created an opportunity for Somex Fund, Armory Square. I think it's, he's playing in a great space simply because there are fewer, there's fewer comp uh, less comp competing funds there. But that, that was the conclusion of the foundation of uh, the, the uh, Kauffman Foundation.